G'day mates, how's it going? Now this is Anime Lab, and Anime Lab is an anime streaming service for Australia and New Zealand. Now without further ado, let's just get right into the review. So first off, let's compare the premium version and the free version, because that's probably the most important things that you're interested in. Um, so first off, for the premium version, there's no ads on the videos, and that's to be expected, really. Um, there's no delay on video of episodes that come out straight from, from Japan, from the simulcast. Uh, you get the full back catalogue of anime. You get English and Japanese options for anime. You go to 1080p uh, for the video quality, you get priority support, you get membership perks. Now the membership perks are like discounts for the Madman um, online store. Madman uh, publishes anime in uh, in Australia and New Zealand, or physical anime, and so if you want to buy the, the physical anime you get a bit of a discount for that. Um, and then the price, so you get $6.95 for a month, or $6, uh, $69.50 for a full year, so if you get it annually you get two months off. Uh, so that's pretty good. Um, so right there and then just for the features you get, uh, for the uh, I guess specifications of the service, uh, it's all pretty good, but also pretty standard as well. Like there's, uh, there's also no, I mean, there's no commenting system, there's no like review system. You can like, you know, rate a show by putting like a one to five stars, you know. Um, but yeah, there's no like, there's no extra features like that. But at the same time, for just a viewing experience, like this is, I guess, similar to like Netflix, where they don't have a commenting system. They have like, you can like thumb up a video or something, but like, there's no review system on that. So it's the same way. Like if you, if you like Netflix, then um, you can't really say Anime Lab is bad for not having like a commenting system or a review system. Um, but it, it does lack any other extra features like that. It has like the standard options you expect. But for the free version, the free version is a very limited uh, version of the premium version. So there's ads on the videos, one before the episode starts and one in the middle, one week delay on episodes that come from Japan, like the simulcast episodes, uh, a limited selection on the back catalogue of anime, um, subbed or you know Japanese only for the for all the anime, uh, up to standard definition up to 480p, standard support, no membership perks and free for the price. So if you, if you just want to look at the free version, yeah, it's, it's just, it's very limited. But I can say from using it when I first started up, the free version is is still uh, usable and still good to have. Like I, um, it's good to have uh, in general anyway. But it's still um, it's still fine to use as a thing. Like um, some anime even a pretty old so that they only come in 480p anyway but uh yeah that's that's it for the like the price and what it comes with let's check out the anime because since that's what you're going to be watching so this is the front page of the service uh or what it looks like uh, when you're like premium and stuff uh it shows some popular shows at the, at the start now i'll just clarify this my hero academia is on here for a limited time to help promote the movie that's airing in cinemas at the moment don't expect it. Uh, if you're watching this in the future, it probably won't be on here. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to clarify that now. Um, but yeah, so you, you scroll down, you got like recently added shows, uh, simulcasting shows that are simulcasting now, uh, Fate Collection, or just like little um, collections they put together of shows that are you know similar or series like Dragon Ball and stuff. You got movies, um, recently aired, recently viewed stuff here. Um, but yeah, let's just check out some highlights of the anime, or at least I consider highlights, yeah. Um, but yeah, you got Attack on Titan, all three seasons of it, you got Blood Blockade Battlefront, Code Geass, all like the both seasons of it, Death Note, Digimon, five seasons of it, so that's great, like, great childhood show that is, like, just, oh, I love it. Uh, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, uh, Dragon Ball Super, also there's Dragon Ball GT as well, uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Inuyasha, uh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Season 1, uh, Kenichi, Kill the Kill, Log Horizon, uh, Megalobox, Naruto, Naruto Shippuden, uh, One Punch Man, uh, Overlord, uh, Prison School, Psycho Pass, uh, Samurai Champloo, Sam Sailor Moon, and they've got Sailor Moon Crystal as well, uh, Steins Gate, and they've got Steins, Steins Gate Zero, Summer Wars, Be Boy and the Beast, Trigun, and uh, they've also got Wolf Children as well. Um, but yes, they've got some great shows on here, and there's many more. I'll get to the full list in a minute. Um, but you can also favorite shows and like put them in your own uh, personal list. So um, all you have to do is click on the little uh, heart icon that's um, at the bottom of the little thumbnail here, and that just adds it to my shows. Or well, not my shows, <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and also, uh, this is a good uh, little segue here. I really love the aesthetic of the site, like out of uh, Anime Lab, out of Crunchyroll, Funimation, and um, High Dive, out of those four like streaming services. 
I actually like the aesthetic of Anime Lab the most. Uh, like it has these little tiles here or thumbnails and you win your mouse over it so you can see the uh, uh, little synopsis of the series. And uh, yeah, I really love that. You can also tell what year it came out, how many episodes there is available, uh, the community rating, or if you've rated it yourself, you can see your own rating of it. Um, and yeah, I really love that about the service. I think it's, you know, it's uh, nice and sleek, but also has a lot to offer and just, I don't know, it looks really good, at least to me anyway. I mean, aesthetics are a bit subjective, yeah. But uh, yeah, let's check out, um, I'm not, I'm not going to go through all the shows just because it's like, take a while but uh yeah you got 369 different shows which is really good like that's a really good number to have um that also includes movies so i'll just show you those um because there's not as many sh uh, movies it's easy to go through uh so you got like ace attorney you know you got um the apple seed movies and the berserk movies um uh full Metal Alchemist brotherhood the movie from that series uh children who chase lost voices the k movies k on movie um the, some of the naruto movies uh, the Hayao Miyazaki uh, documentary. So, uh, they've also got the Studio Ghibli documentary, um, Psycho Pass the movie, uh, Madoka Magica, Sword and the Stranger, Summer Wars, Boy and the Beast, Wolf Children, you know, Trigun, The Garden of Words. Uh, so yeah, got a good selection of movies here. Like, there definitely could be more, but there's a good stuff for, for what is here. Um, you can search by via genre as well. You can also just click on the top here and not have to go to a separate screen for that. Um, simulcast, you can check what has been completed or the, check the schedule of uh, simulcasting shows. Uh, so, for, for, for example, uh, Mondays, uh, well, Mondays, my time zone, uh, Season 3 comes out of uh, Attack on Titan. The, on Tuesdays, the dub of Steins Gate Zero comes out. Wednesdays, the dub of Overlord comes out. Um, Tokyo Ghoul, the sub uh, part, like Tokyo Ghoul Part 2 comes out, like the premiere. Uh, Thursdays, um, Boruto, uh, Steins Gate Zero, and um, this new rascal does not dream of bunny girl senpai, <laughs> whatever anime that is, yeah. Uh, Gaku, Gaku and Basara Samurai High School comes out on this Saturday, it's the premiere of it. Uh, Sunday's got Gigage no Gitaro and um, One Piece. So yeah, like, you've got a, you yeah, it's really good service overall, like, um, anything else to show? I mean, you can, uh, Find, like, you can search shows just by subbed or just by dubbed shows like just if I click on uh, the dubbed ones it'll only bring up shows which have a dub option uh, so that's really good if you're just trying to find just English shows or if uh, just Japan uh, just shows that are in Japanese with English subtitles um, but yeah that's about it for the service and uh, yeah I mean I definitely recommend it I mean if you couldn't tell by how I was talking about it uh, yeah I like it a lot um, what I sort of say a lot to my friends and just people in general is if you know someone who's like interested in getting into anime or you are a person yourself that's interested in getting into anime this is a great place to start because it's, it's got a lot of those classic shows or a lot of those uh, shows from your childhood or just some of the mainstream shows a lot of people are talking about so you can get in via that like if you're if you saw um, you know, like uh, clips on Facebook of Attack on Titan and you're thinking of getting into it or you're hearing like friends of yours talking about it, you can jump in here or same with One Punch Man. You know, jump in here and then there's enough like other shows to just, you know, um, you know, uh, get you interested in anime in general like Blood Blockade Battlefront's great you know you can get into Code, uh, Code Geass you know Death Note all these classic shows that they would have already seen you can just jump right in here there's no like shows you're going to miss out on um, except for maybe like I think like the only one that you might miss out on is like Bleach because you got Naruto you got Fairy Tail, you got Dragon Ball and now you've got One Piece it hasn't got all of One Piece yet but uh, yeah like uh, Bleach I think is the only one that's really missing out um, but yeah, you got Dragon Ball Z, so if you watch that as a kid, you can jump on that now, uh, and just refresh your mind, just get back into that nostalgia, uh, and just check out Dragon Ball Super as well. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, fantastic series, um, you know, like, you can jump on this now. Um, so if you're new to anime, this is a great service, you know, um, and if you're not new to anime, and you're just, you know, wanting a service to get into, uh, to use as your service, this is great as well, great service to have. Um, now, of course, with like most services there's going to be like anime that they won't just won't have they won't be able to get the license for it or any of that sort of stuff so like yeah like there's there is that to deal with but as like a general thing anime lab has what you're probably going to be after if you're ever curious about if they have a certain show leave it in the comments down below um again this is for australia and new zealand but yeah like um if you're interested like does this um 
does anime live have a show you're interested in or you're wondering if they have a show um you know just write it in the comments and i'll check it for you and i'll uh, reply as soon as possible yeah but uh yeah that's about it for the review um i definitely recommend it and yeah oh also definitely check out the free trial so if you sign up for the first time you'll get a 30 day free trial and um use the service as much as possible and then uh, decide for yourself if this is the service that's right for you and if not just quit before you have to pay anything so that yeah that's about it um that's all you have to do and then you can just carry on yeah but yeah that's about it for, that's it that's all that is it for the review but uh yeah anyways thanks for watching i'll see you again see you later